I didn't start transition until I was 58. I guess I was 50. How did your family accept you? Well, my son disowned me. He told his mother that he wanted anything to do with the fucking freak. So I don't get to talk to my grandson or my granddaughter. My family's similar to yours. Your daughter disowned you? Both my daughters disowned me, yeah. 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 When I was growing up, I always knew there was something different. I didn't like the same thing the other boys did. You know, they wanted to play army and cowboys and Indians. And I wanted to be the, the girl in a wagon that was sewing and making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, you know, I had to be who I wasn't so that I could survive. I spent 15 years in the army and I enlisted of all places as a paratrooper going to the 82nd Airborne Division. And the units I was in, the soldiers were pretty hard charging. So that was the image you had to portray. I didn't start wearing women's clothes until I was out of the military. I wouldn't do it because I was afraid. But then we met at the transgender support group. Yeah, the VA support group. And we started joking and then just like nitpicking at each other and stuff. <laughs> People said, well, you guys really are sisters. We do sit around and talk a lot. We would sit in Denny's for coffee at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and be dark. And leave there at 10 o'clock at, at night. 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> the servers all know us. The managers know us. She flirts with all the waitresses. Me? Yes, you do. <laughs> we get a 20% military discount. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, it hurts to have lost my daughters. But uh, I found out love is not a two-way street. Love's not unconditional. It is for some of us. You're always there for me. There's never a, a doubt uh, or a question as to whether you would be or not. You are my sister. I'm glad of it.